I'm fascinated by the sea, which I've always loved since I was a child. Probably sparked from the summer holidays in Lincolnshire, where Mum took my sister and I every year. Dad couldn't come with us. Mum said he had to work to earn the extra pennies we needed. Sitting here looking at the sea from my Devon cottage brings back memories. It's making me want to return to the seaside towns in Lincolnshire. We had such happy times. We always had a picnic on the beach. And I do remember Mum's wicker picnic basket, which was her pride and joy. I also recall that she was always worried about spending her precious pennies to buy us sweets and ice creams. We were always pestering her for rides at the fun fair, but Mum always played games with us on the beach. I think I'll take a break from Devon and revisit Lincolnshire. I'll go by train, as we did all those years ago. It'll be fun. No time like the present. Here at last, such a long, tiring journey, and I'm beginning to wonder why. It's not as expected. Most places seem to be closed, but at least the sun is shining. Gosh, that sign brings back memories. Mum loved cockles and mussels. Not that she had them that often. I can't abide them. We always stayed with Aunt Mabel, where we were all in one room. That was such fun. And Aunt Mabel baked some smashing cakes. Sometimes, if we were lucky, we had a ride on one of those open top buses. But it looks as though I'm not going to get a ride today. It doesn't seem to be running. Not to worry. I will explore further and see what other places we went to. Pity everywhere seems to be shut. Perhaps it wasn't the best time to visit. Should have come in the summer. The beaches look a bit empty, but it does bring back so many memories of time spent digging in the sand. We didn't worry about our pretty knitted costumes getting covered in sand and sea water, which our mum made. They were always dropping down. I think perhaps it's time for the town and a spot of lunch. I can't really remember going into the town with Mum. I think perhaps she kept us away from the shops to stop us pleading to buy things. Mind you, it's not exactly my cup of tea now. I really must stop being a grumpy old woman. Well, I never, a casino. What next? Not something we would have gone to. Dad certainly wouldn't have approved. Time for lunch. Then I'll investigate further afield and look for the beach huts and pier. Ah, I remember these beach huts, but not these. My sister and I always wish we could have played in one of the huts. They all look like little houses. Let's find the fun fair and perhaps go for a walk on the pier. I might have guessed. Pier closed. Everywhere's deserted, but at least I'm not being jostled around. This is tiring. Would love a cup of coffee. What a surprise. Cafe shut. 
Not the visit I anticipated, but interesting. It will be a memory held dear to my heart of my childhood holidays. It's made me realize what mum and dad did for us and the sacrifices they made to give us a holiday each year. Going back was the right thing to do. I am though longing to get back to Devon's sea and beaches and the places I've grown to love. I just want to sit and ponder and enjoy my view.